hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome my name is laifa if you are seeing my face for the first time i'm a youtuber based in lagos nigeria so today is the 31st of december 2017 and i decided to do a chit chat video telling you guys how my year went telling you guys my favorite beauty products of the year so i'm going to start with my favorite beauty products of 2017 one this has to be my number one and it's quite shocking that this is my number one because I didn't expect this product to be as good as it was. I thought it was just hyped. You know, my holy girl, like it's quite shocking. Fancy Beauty Pro Filter Foundation and you guys won't believe that I'm out. Like I was doing my makeup today and I kept pressing it out, pressing, pressing, pressing. Nothing was coming out. I, I opened the cap. And looked inside and it was it was literally empty but you can't even tell looking at it that it's empty i had to use a brush to scoop it out i love this foundation it's very flawless like i'm not even kidding this foundation is <laughs> is it not flawless like it gives that hd effect like immediately you wear it you see the beauty of the foundation like immediately it just sets it looks really beautiful and one reason why i really like this foundation is Okay, for me personally, I have lines around my lips, like smile lines, not just smile lines, lines basically. So when I wear foundation, that's one of the reasons why I get tired of wearing makeup sometimes because that thing really pisses me off. Like, I'm wearing makeup and then you see the foundation set into, I, I tried everything, I tried using um, eyeshadow primer, I tried baking that area, but still, still foundation will always still set in those areas but with this foundation i don't get that and i think that's awesome so i think this year my brow game stepped up big time and the reason is because of these three products right here so this is blots brow pomade this pomade i love it it's amazing it's 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 actually really awesome like it changed my brow game like i used to use pencils up until this year but i started using brow pomade this year and it made my brows a whole lot better a whole lot natural looking and the reason why i really like this brow pomade in particular is because it doesn't dry like i use it to the very bottom like i scoop out the very last part of this product it doesn't dry and then this mac brow set in girl boy this found this 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 brow gel right here is life like you know when you use some kind of brow gels they they don't have color but this one has color it, it's tinted and then it gives that illusion of hair strokes this thing right here you guys need to get it it's expensive yes but it's worth the money and it lasts like i've had this thing for a really long time now it's still here like it's not even up to half yet so if you ask me it's a very good investment and this one is another brow gel that is awesome it's from blots also it's these two products are nigerian products and this is mac these things right here changed my brow game like it's this year that people say really complimenting my brow like i get a lot of people say oh my god your brows are awesome on your clients and yourself well if you ask me i think my brows are better on my clients than on myself so these three products right here changed my brow game for the better and i love it so much next up is this powder right here iman luminous this powder is beautiful it has a glow to it i've always thought i preferred the mac one but lately i just realized that this one is more beautiful and it's way way cheaper it's beautiful this powder right here is beautiful so next up is going to be the ingla number 77 gel liner i know most of all these products majority of these products are non new products they didn't exactly come out this year but i discovered them this year i discovered this gel liner this year and oh my god this thing is oh no words this gel liner is awesome next up is the melanie mills rose uh, the melanie mills gleam body radiant this thing is beautiful i, I wear it underneath my foundation or i mix it with my foundation and it is so beautiful like it just gives you this glow this inner glow like people just see i'm like oh you're glowing like they can't they can't quite place what it is but you're just glowing this baby right here 
and it lasts like I got it in January and it's almost out but I've been using it since January this year and it's it's still here like you don't need a lot you just need like a pump and then another foundation is the Milani 2-in-1 foundation this foundation is beautiful I love it so these two foundations right here are my favorite foundations of the year oh my god another thing that is not here but I have to mention it is the Fenty Beauty um, Trophy Wife so beautiful my only problem is that it keeps breaking I don't know whether it's just me like it broke the first time I fell it down it broke I put it back together I sprayed alcohol on it it broke again I did it again and then it broke Ugh, and then I just I just put it somewhere so it doesn't stain my other makeup stuff but that 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 highlighter is beautiful like every time I wear it people always ask me what, what highlighter are you wearing I'm not wearing it today though but yeah next up is this eyeshadow palette from RLG in Tokyo Makinwa beautiful palette next uh i discovered the juvia's place eyeshadow palettes this year also i know some people are going to say yes of course very predictable <laughs> but yeah their yeah, palettes are awesome i intend to invest in more of them next year because the pigmentation the way they apply very beautiful next up is the tara eyeshadow palettes they came out with two new palettes this year and they are beautiful they remind me of the juvia's place eyeshadows a lot they are really 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 beautiful last but not the least i feel like i feel like i'm being mean showing eyeshadow palettes that i love this year because there are, there are so many i love and i can't show you guys all i don't want this video to be extremely long but yeah anyways okay yeah then the last one here is the huda beauty desert dusk eyeshadow palette i use this palette like almost all the time like see i've even hit pan on a few of them they are really nice this is my first Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette and I love it so 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 much. Next up is the Black Radiance Contour Palette. There are different shades. This one is medium to dark. They are really beautiful. Like, oh, and okay, the highlighter is also really beautiful. Like, that's what I'm wearing right now. So for the makeup aspect, then for perfume, my favorite perfume of the year would be this one from Hugo Boss. <laughs> makes me smell expensive and shit <laughs> anyways yeah it was a gift from my mom and i love it it's so it smells really nice and feminine next up is the r and r luxury products i got a couple of products for, from them about not not too long ago and they're, they're not all here for me to show you guys but i, re I really wanted to talk about the r and r products like this year, I decided to really focus on my skin and take care of my skin. It's not where I wanted to be yet, but I've never been an oil person. Like, I didn't think I liked oils. I didn't even used to like the feel of oils, but lately I've been using a lot of oils and they make my skin glow. Like, look, I'm wearing just this oil right here. This Baobab oil from R&R R &R, R &R Luxury. They're in the US, they're in London, I think. They're also in Nigeria. Like So their products are easily, uh, you can easily get their products. And they're very nice. I have the, the uh, what do they call it, the liquid black soap, the lemongrass oil, and this one. And then I also have their, oh God, I can't shoot them to you. I'm not with them here. I also have their, um, what do they call it, facial scrub. I, I think... I'm going to stick with them like i finally found what works for my skin so that's what i'm using for now so that's it about beauty and makeup and blah 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 so now let's talk about how my 2017 went mm, so let me get up close and personal with you guys right now <laughs> so i'm going to start with my birthday last year so i turned 25 on the 25th of October last year and it was it was really horrible I don't know for some reason the devil just decided that I'm going to make this girl sad and depressed so I wasn't happy you know when you you, you give yourself goals in life I gave myself a goal that oh 25 I'll be this I'll be that I'll be this I'll be that and then 25 came along and I was nowhere close to any of those things that I wanted for myself at that age and it made me really sad and really depressed like it was quite horrible honestly 
so that's where it started from and earlier in the year last year i broke up with a boyfriend that i thought was it like i thought this was my man my husband to be and then we broke up in a very stupid way <laughs> that didn't make any sense to me at all but the whole year was just really somehow and then in my career i didn't feel like i was doing as well as i wanted to do and then i started thinking like do i really want to be a makeup artist like i wasn't the money wasn't coming in the way it should and i, I wasn't aware at the time i could stay a month a whole month and not get a single job so so many things were just making me sad and depressed and then i was living alone in a way where i was doing my youth service I didn't have friends so all of that didn't even help matters at all so i was sad lonely depressed and then that thing just it just dragged on into 2017. you know when people are expectant and are excited for the new year it wasn't the same for me i was really sad for me i just wanted the year to be over and then i entered 2017 and then i decided to start youtube so guys youtube actually saved me like it actually did save me like i started doing youtube at a point in my life where it seemed like nothing was working so starting youtube it was i'm sure people were just seeing me in front of the camera all smiley and all happy and all i think i'm sure they'll be thinking ah oh, this girl has it together but i didn't have it together I started YouTube in February, I think it was the ending of February, I started, I mean, I put out my first YouTube video and then the reception was great, it was, it was quite surprising, like, I didn't know what to expect, I just said to just take the bold step and then I started YouTube and people received me very well, people were watching my video, like, my first video, I think I had, like, almost 10k views, like, I, I was, I was shocked and I was so happy, so, doing that it made me want to keep doing youtube videos so i kept filming like i was very consistent in the beginning because like i said i was in a very very dead place fyi <laughs> no friends no job there was a job but it was it was barely bringing in bringing in any income so doing youtube was just a way to escape everything that was going on around me so i was very consistent in the beginning and then I was growing. I'm almost at 25,000 subscribers and I started YouTube this year. I didn't even expect to get to like 10k this year but I, I, I'm, I'm ending the year with almost 25,000 subscribers and that's that's really amazing to me. I really thank God for the growth. Like the growth was really awesome and then it started giving me exposure so it made clients to start coming in. It made people like okay for example my Instagram I started this year with I think 10,000 or a little over 10,000 followers on Instagram but now I'm on, I'm but now I'm on for something thousand on Instagram so and it's there from YouTube like I honestly think it's there from YouTube because it put me out there it made people start knowing me like I was even nominated for an award this year entrepreneur of the year like when I got nominated for that award I was like wow I didn't win but me being nominated it gave me the push you know like I was doing something right I had this really terrible habit of comparing myself to other people. I had this terrible habit of using my tongue to say negative things. But but in this year, thanks to my pastor, I learned I've always known oh that there's power in the tongue, but I never actually took that thing. That's I never actually took that word seriously until this year. I made a conscious effort to start checking <coughs> excuse me, to start checking everything I say with my tongue and it has made a considerable difference in my life you guys i no longer say negative things like even anybody around me that says any negative thing i caution you right away i no longer say negative things i, I now pro i proclaim i prophesy positive things in my life and they've made a whole difference in the past little things used to get me depressed like i'm i'm an extremely emotional person so little things get me depressed any little thing i would just feel like oh my god what do i do i just i just go into this phase of depression that is very hard to come out from and this year i let go of all of that so whenever anything bothered me i just left it to god god 
take my cares, take my worry. I know everything is going to be fine. I know you're going to take care of everything. And everything always turned out fine. So I'm now a positive person. I never ever use my tongue to say any crappy thing. <laughs> so all of that, like all of these things, me starting YouTube, me no longer, me deciding to not compare myself to other people, me deciding to be a positive person, to use my tongue to prophesy good things. It just, like, this year has been the most progressive year in my entire life. Like, the amount of things that have happened to me, the amount of growth that I've grown in my career, in my, in every phase of my life, this year has just been mind-blowing. Like, <laughs> looking back at this year, I've just, like, in the beginning of this year, like I said, I wasn't getting clients, but now, God, like, okay, and then I moved to Lagos this year. Me deciding to move to Lagos this year, I was very scared to move to Lagos. And then my mom wasn't even helping matters. She didn't want me to move. <laughs> like my mom actually said, if you move, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> like for the first time in my life, I was rebellious. I told my mom, mom, I'm moving to Lagos. I cried. I remember the day I told her I cried. I wept. I was like, mommy, please. I want to move to Lagos. Like, Lagos is not even somewhere that I like. The normal day like i've always hated lagos because the traffic i always felt i can't stay in that place it's too stressful plus the traffic blah 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 so me deciding like i was so convinced in my spirit that i wanted to move to lagos me deciding to move to lagos i was quite shocked i was quite shocked myself because i don't like lagos on a normal day so at the end of the day she finally came around and then i moved to lagos and I was so scared, like everybody around me were just discouraging me. Me myself decided that I wanted to move to Lagos. I wasn't even I wasn't even sure. I was very scared and the, a lot of people just kept discouraging me. I usually want to move to Lagos. There are so many makeup artists in Lagos, you just be lost in the crowd, you won't be getting clients because there are already other people that are there. It's going to take you a long, long, long time to finally start getting and building a client base. I was so scared to move to Lagos, oh my god, but I just prayed about it, I put it in God's hand and then I decided to just take the bold move, the bold step and move to Lagos. Okay, I decided to come to Lagos, finding a house was a struggle. I want to say a big thank you to my friend Bumi, my sweetheart, Bumi and her husband wrote to me, I love you guys so much. When I moved to Lagos, they housed me, guys, they housed me for two months. Uh, yeah, they housed me for two months. It took me two whole months to find a house in Lagos. Houses in Lagos are so freaking expensive. <laughs> oh my god! And not just about it even being expensive, it's hard to find a good house. So for two months, I found I tried to find a house, and then I finally found a house in September. And then I I, just, I, I finally got a house, established my studio. It felt like I was making a huge mistake coming to, coming to Lagos, but in the end, everything just fell into place. Like, oh my god, guys. I went I went from being not booked in like a month or two to being booked like almost every day. Like, it's crazy. Like, oh god. <laughs> it's actually crazy because as a... This year, I felt like, are you sure I should be doing this makeup thing? Are you sure I shouldn't take my mom up on her offer to work, like, do a 9 to 5? Because my mom was like, are you sure you want to do this? Like, she was just being concerned. I just moved to Lagos this year, and the amount of blessings, like, God has been really faithful to me this year. He has been really faithful. He's just, he's just been surprising me. <laughs> it's quite amazing, like... As of the beginning of this year, the amount I was charging is charging charging for like bridal makeup, whatever appointment I, I was charging. Now I charge times two, and me charging times two, I wasn't even sure if I'll get people that would agree to pay that amount. But I work like almost every day. Like there isn't a week that I don't work. At, there isn't, a, there isn't a week that I don't walk and I, I just God has just been really faithful to me this year it's like I feel like my career is finally on the path that I want it to be like I feel like I finally know what I'm doing 
like I didn't know what I was doing before, but now I know what I feel like I know what I'm doing. I feel like now I can see my career path. <sighs> I feel like I'm not making any sense to you guys. I'm just I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm feeling I'm feeling kind of overwhelmed, I guess. <laughs> the whole end of year just reflecting and reminiscing over how the year went i was broke you guys <laughs> i'm so broke <laughs> i'm so broke so this year this year this, oh God, this is the best year of my life it's the best year yet now i'm actually looking forward to 2018 like i'm actually i actually i'm i'm excited for 2018 i'm excited for This year has been awesome. Like this year, I was invited to to be a speaker at a at a conference, House of Tara conference. Like I actually got to stand in front of people and talk to them about my YouTube journey. Like I I I meet Sandra. <laughs> like if Sandra is my name for those of you that don't know. I was actually invited to be a spokesperson. I was so nervous. Like. I suck at public speaking. <laughs> no, I don't suck at public speaking. I was really, I was really nervous. I'm really shy. So I, I <laughs> oh my god, I don't even want to think about that. But me being invited at all, like, it was, it was huge for me. It was really huge, and I got to meet so many amazing people. Like, I met so many people. People coming up to me, telling me how I inspired them, and I'm like, wow. <laughs> me sitting in front of my camera in my room on my own just talking just doing makeup like it's more than all that like, i actually inspire people <laughs> it was quite strange to me like me and my sister were just looking at ourselves like oh my god is this really happening i feel like i was looking at someone else like i was i was not there like it was happening to someone and i was looking at i was looking at it happening to someone else Believe in your dreams, guys. Believe in yourself. Even if no one else believes in you, believe in yourself. <sighs> believe in yourself. Have faith. Put God at the center of everything that you do. There's nothing that I still need to pray to God about. I apologize if this video is all about the place. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just sitting down here. I'm just reminiscing over the whole year and. It just really hits me how this year went. Like I've never, actually, I've never really sat down to really think about it. Like I have so many things to be thankful to God for. My two, two of my sisters graduated this year. With two one, <laughs> so proud of them. My baby of the house graduated from secondary school. She's going to university to study engineering. Like this year has been beautiful. I became a lot closer to my mom. Like. That is so weird. I, I've always been close to my mom, but our love has always been tough love because my mom, my mom, they chop bottle. <laughs> I don't know if you guys understand what I mean. I don't even know how to explain it in actual English, but our love has always been tough love. But this year, like, we became closer. Like, we talk almost every day. Like, I, I, I can actually tell her stuff my mom used to be eh, like you can't mess with my mom like my mom used to be like a typical african mom a typical nigerian mom but this year we became closer we became closer to my sisters oh my god i had my i had two master classes this year one in abuja one in lagos let me tell you guys a little backstory so i had my first master class ever about two years ago yeah two years ago and i was, I was still living in asaba nobody showed up <laughs> oh my god nobody showed up you guys and it was it was really cheap like i made it really cheap so that a lot of people would come it was five thousand naira nobody showed up <laughs> i remember feeling so sad that day feeling so as i cried like i actually cried like I cried. <laughs> Nobody showed up for my master class. But well, I had two master classes this year, and the Lagos, the one in Lagos. So everybody that showed up for that class, thank you. Like they had my heart. Like they made that experience so 
special to me they turned up we all had fun we all enjoyed ourselves the models and i just sat there looking at them like oh my god like you guys actually showed up for my master class <laughs> oh my god like <laughs> it was it was it was a really special moment for me that people actually turned up the one in abuja it was also great like i'm actually looking forward to doing master classes in different places next year i want to say a big thank you to every attendee of that class you guys made it so so special for me because that was when i was actually trying to find a house in lagos and i wasn't even sure whether i was going to do well in lagos so that class being a success was one of the things that kept me moving kept me pushing like maybe this wasn't such a bad move after all okay, so let's talk about a relationship so i'm still single yeah <laughs> I'm actually still single and it's okay like it's only people around me that are worried though i don't understand i turned 26 this year god i feel old <laughs> i thought i turned 26 this year but i feel like i just stay living my life like i feel like it's now that i know what i'm doing with my life it's now that i'm discovering myself spiritually physically mentally all the leaves so i don't even feel like everybody around me feels like oh my god you're 26 you're supposed to be married blah 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 you know how nigerians are but i'm not even bothered <laughs> like my career is finally doing well my youtube channel is growing my client base is growing the brand is growing like i have so much dreams and aspirations for the for my brand i'm doing good it's okay that i'm single i started a year single i'm ending it single and it's okay it's actually it's it's okay because everything else is doing well everything else is doing really great and i'm happy and i'm ready i'm actually ready for bay now <laughs> and like this year was about me you know this year was about discovering myself working on myself and it's a journey like i'm still discovering myself every day i wasn't in the right frame of mind to be in a relationship you know maybe 2018 will be the year you never know you never know you don't know what you don't know what, you don't know this this god that i serve eh? he has a way of i don't know like the way he does things like out of the blues <sighs> So you never know, maybe 2018 is the year that I'm going to find me, maybe get married, you never know. But for right now, I'm okay. Like, I'm so happy I started YouTube. I'm so happy for every single one of you. You guys have made this journey so unbelievably sweet. Like, I actually get people talking behind my back and saying I bought subscribers. And it's quite funny to me. I never even knew that people buy subscribers. And I know people buy Instagram followers, but youtube subscribers like I, re I really don't know i really don't care it was quite funny to me but you guys are the reason why i saw say something like that <laughs> so i want to thank every single one of you you guys have made this journey so sweet it's like i actually get people send me emails people call me even from out of outside of nigeria call me to tell me how they love me how i inspired them how they're so proud of me like it feels so surreal like even when i get People walk up to me on the street and be like, oh my god, like I actually met a girl that was there crying. Like she stayed crying that I inspire her. She, she likes she she's inspired by me and my channel. It was it was quite surprising to me. Like I was shocked, like, oh my god, like I'm actually doing something right. So but I love I love every single one of you. You guys, you guys have made this little girl's dreams. Like you guys have made this this girl happy. You guys have like I didn't even know what my dreams and aspirations were until this year. <laughs> like I've just been going through life, just moving like a zombie, not knowing what I'm doing, just taking it one day at a time. But now, because of you guys, I know what I'm doing. I know where I'm going. I know who I am. Thank you guys so very much. I love every every single one of you every single client i've had in the past every person that has come into my life this 
here. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel, for watching my channel, for liking my videos, for disliking my videos, for dropping negative comments. It's okay. I love every single one of you because thank you. Like, all I can say is thank you for making my 2017 a year to remember. I, I like it makes me look forward to 2018 very happy very ecstatic very hopeful because i believe that i'm on the right path i'm saying big thank you to all my friends and family i'm not going to mention you guys one by one but you guys know yourselves you guys made my year awesome i love you guys so 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 much i look back at how this year started and i'm i'm, I'm so happy that I'm right here, like this year is ending on a good note. Oh my god, you guys, I got a car. <laughs> like, <laughs> I still can't believe, like, it still feels very surreal to say, like, it hasn't done on me yet that I have a car. <laughs> like, I actually, I actually do have a car. Like, I, I, I got a car a few days ago. I'm going to insert a picture up here. Like, I'm so, I'm so happy for my little baby. <sighs> You guys don't know the way I've suffered this year. Like moving to Lagos and not having a car in Lagos has been quite stressful on me because obviously I can't enter a bus because I'm going for jobs. I'm carrying my makeup box, I'm carrying my makeup chair, I'm carrying my ring lights, I'm carrying so many things that I obviously can't enter a bus. So I have to take Uber or taxi fi and they have been eating my money. My god, <laughs> I have been spending so 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 much on uber and taxi fi and then there are days when they surge like so many people are requesting so they make it like times two times three times five oh my god but i don't have a choice i i have to go and meet up with my appointment i still have to take uber oh my god like okay this christmas period in lagos was terrible the, i don't know where i don't understand like lagos is crowded on normal day but this period oh my god like all them i just got back we're making everywhere very 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 crowded like there was traffic everywhere and then there was now scarcity of fuel oh my god oh my god the fuel scarcity made things even worse it was so hard to get uber like i missed out on so many appointments because i couldn't get uber no cars available no cars available no cars available fuel scarcity traffic Oh my god, so me getting a car, I just really thank god, like, it just, it just, as me getting that, my, me getting this car just made this year end on the most beautiful note because I really needed it, it's not even about luxury, like, I really needed this car and, and I prayed for it and the year was coming to an end, I, I wasn't sure whether it was still going to happen, and it did, like, and it happened in the most beautiful way, like, you know when, you see, God just made everything to fall into the right places at the right time in his own in his own time you guys in his own this God that I serve you guys you guys need to serve this God that I serve because he's he's an amazing God he's a faithful God <sighs> the things that he does for his children even when we are undeserving of it I'm just so thankful I'm so thankful for 2017. Your aspirations. Believe in yourself. Believe that what you, even if nobody around you believes in you, believe in yourself. Believe in your God. Have faith. God can do abundant above all that you can ask of Him. Don't, don't, don't be like me. Don't be like me. Don't be the way I was last year. Tell yourself that 2017, all of your problems, all of everything that happened to you this year that made this year awful <clears throat> tell yourself that you're, you're dropping it this year i want you to go into 2018 with an expectant heart with a positive heart with a positive mindset that 2018 is going to be amazing and i know and i pray because you believe it it will be amazing for you so just just leave all your cares and worries to god just just leave it all in 2017 baby girl baby boy <laughs> believe that 2018 is going to be awesome and it will be awesome for you and i pray that everything works out for every single one of you and i pray that every single one of you is as happy as i feel right now 
going to end this video because it's becoming extremely long i don't i did not plan for this video to be long i thought this video would be like five minutes but as usual i've been talking like a pirate and i don't know this video was all over the place but i hope that you guys took something away from this video I love every single one of you. I love you guys for making this little girl happy, for making this little girl's dreams come true, and for supporting my channel. Thank you. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Please. I love you guys so much. Happy New Year. See you guys in 2018.